This morning I'm going to try and give you a fast go-over of the new features in QImage Ultimate 2020 that Mike just presented yesterday and I personally think they're really fantastic. Something I needed. I don't know about the rest of you guys but I needed it. Okay, what it amounts to is this. There are various things sometimes where we go and we want to uh, redo a job. Okay, so we redo a job and we say open and there's no image okay there's no image so now QImage says to you wait a minute I can find this if you let me okay now here's the part that needs a little explanation okay this is where you want it to search that's pretty easy but I can't help you because you name your own folders in your own fashion in your own system. But I have check marks in the ones I want QImage to search for this picture. Okay, so I say, and by the way, you can add folders by clicking on this, or you can remove folders by selecting and hitting the delete key. Okay, so there's your add and remove part. All right, in the meantime, let's search. And it found it. And there it is, my friend's daughter, and uh, it found the job, as simple as that. Okay, let's clear this out with a little help here from QImage. Okay, next item. Next item is remembering. Remembering I that I had so many requests for a particular image, and I'm getting another request for it. And that is the old sailor and the nurse statue that was uh, at the end of World War II. It was on the cover of one of the major magazines. And I, have, I was lucky enough to have the statue here in Sarasota, and I was able to take a picture of it. And so many people wanted a copy. So I saved it, okay, like that. But I don't remember where it was. So there it is. Okay, simple as that. All right, it found it. Close that up. Now I'm going to take this one here, right click, and say, show me the job from this image. Okay. And there it is. Now, it's showing me four jobs up here. This one here, it's part of three images. You can see two of three, three of three, where my pointer is down here. And it repeats itself again in this particular job. And it repeats itself again in this particular job. But I want the single one, so I'm going to pick that one and say open, job. And there it is. Okay, now of course you can change the paper size, the print size, whatever you want to do. But it found it, it found the job. And you're all set to go if you want to print it again. Simple as that. Okay, let's clear out again. I love this restart. Puts everything back where it belongs. <laughs> okay, now here comes auto job log. Auto job log is beautiful. That's for me, beautiful. Because I know I printed something recently. Okay, I printed it recently, but uh, where is it? Because I got these things are auto job log. They're not really named. They're just like that. Okay. So there's a bird. And this one is, I don't know what it is at all. But anyway, it's blank. So QMS doesn't have the, the picture. So let's see what it is. Open. Job. Do you want to find it? Yep. And we're back to that same search screen again. Let's tell it to search. And what do we got? Repairing it to <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, there's the picture that was that belongs with that particular. Uh, job it was a print that was made and there it is okay simple as that 
Okay, let me pause this for a second and then we'll wind it up. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is something cute. It's the new logo that Mike developed. And I want to show it to you because it's a little subtle. But this is the 2020, and if you notice, there's... I had trouble finding it, to be honest with you. But uh, it's, it's brightened up now. And you see the sun rays coming off of the QImage 2020. And that's just to tell you, thank you. Thank you for supporting QImage. And QImage, QImage also supports you. And thank you very much for listening and watching. And we appreciate everything. Bye-bye for now.